I've been out this morning carting some rubbish and trees and bits of stuff from our community woodland in my trailer. I thought you might be interested to have a look interested to have a look at it. This is a Whitlock Farm trailer made by Whitlocks of Great Yeldham down in Essex. Uh, quite famous for making the Dinkum Digger in the 19, early 1950s, which obviously got uh, superseded by Joe Bamford who made the JCB, but Whitlocks made a very similar machine in the 1950s based on a E1A Fordson Major. This is the trailer they made post-war. Um, it's made by Whitlocks. Uh, I know that because I took it to a steam rally asking if anybody knew who made the trailer. An old boy came up who'd worked there in the 60s and he can remember making trailers just like this one. There are a lot around in East Anglia. Interestingly, the wheels um, are old gun carriage wheels. Obviously ex-military, bought from the army after the war. It's still got the finned brake drums on the inside. The brakes don't actually work anymore, but um, it's still got the fin brake drums and it's got the military tyres, which are run flat tyres. I do put some air in them, but I think there's any in at the moment, but they're so strong and thick rubber that uh, they don't change at all in shape, however much I put in it. The old trailer has been restored at some stage. It's getting a little bit rough now, but the wood's okay. That top rail there, I replaced that a few years ago because that had actually rotted out, but the other side's okay. Um, and I've replaced some of the floor as well. But it's, uh, it's a good thing. It's a three-ton trailer. Quite strong. It does tip, but being a balanced trailer, it doesn't tip terribly well in that when it tips up, it doesn't tip high enough to get stuff out. So I tend to just drop the sides and shovel stuff out, which is whatever's been in it. But you can see underneath where the hinge arrangement is, just there. So the whole buck tips up. And on the front, as you can see, on the road it rattles like nobody's business so I've got a piece of rubber in the bottom to try and stop it from rattling and it's got the usual skid under the front and the jack which again looks like it's started life as something else but I think that's probably the next piece of piece of ex-military equipment that's been repurposed as a jack for the front obviously got a clevis hitch but it's a good little trailer. So you can see there the brake lever. And that would have been connected in some way down to the brake drums underneath, but that's all gone in the midst of time. But uh, just for mucking about, it's, it works okay. It's a little bit rusty, but it's uh, there's plenty of metal there still, so they haven't bothered painting it up. You see them painted up, but the trouble is you never want to carry anything in them then because they it'll scratch the paint, so having it like this I don't feel too precious about using it. So there we are, Whitlock Farm trailer. The year made probably well certainly after nineteen forty five, but uh, well before nineteen fifty.